Well, if you are watching the video today, it's because you, like me, have a Mazda 5, which you probably love, because this is a great little car. Mine happens to be a 2014. Um, nice car, some features that are missing if you go with the sport model or the touring. Uh, one thing for sure is the stereo. These speakers suck. There's just no two ways about it. So, since I couldn't find any hard evidence myself online, I'm hoping the next person will find this useful too. So, let's dive into getting this door panel off and see what we've got to work with. Now, with first things first, uh, I'm going to need a couple of things. Some uh, larger flat blade screwdrivers. Um, maybe a Phillips drill or a Phillips head screwdriver. And, oop. One of these uh, small precision kind of screwdrivers. Doesn't have to be teeny tiny. But you're gonna need to pop off this guy here to reveal the Phillips head screw behind. And you may or may not have a plastic cover inside here. I do not, and it doesn't look like it had one before. Apologize for losing focus. Um, but we wanna expose those and start there. Uh, both of these little screws are removed and be careful not to lose them. I would suggest place them in your cup holder. We need to get uh, the cover for this tweeter off, which is fairly straightforward and simple. Um, don't be too forceful. Um, I did not use a screwdriver, I just used my fingers. Uh, pried behind the rubber seal and this plastic cover. And you can see in here the foam backing on the tweeter itself and wiring down below. You got your wiring here for your power mirrors, if equipped. Um, when we get back to putting this together, you're going to want to remove this plastic anchor that did not come out with the uh, cover. You can see the top one did. Um, so we will get to that a little easier once we get the rest of this panel off. And with this out of the way, you can see, um, once that screw's gone, there's nothing else holding it in. So be aware of that. The only thing you will have to do is pull on the handle to feed through this the right way. And that'll come right out. And then we're going to use our small flathead to work on unlocking this unfocusable white wiring harness so that we can set this out of the way. Two, with this screw out, that is the only thing really holding in um, the arm controls here. Uh, you've got wiring harnesses connecting those. Now you can disconnect those now or uh, even after um, you work your way all the way around. And I don't really know how many to tell you that there are at the moment, but uh, I did not use a screwdriver at all. I simply started on this side nearest the steering wheel and there's enough clearance to get your fingers back in here um, and slowly apply pressure to get those anchors to release. I would advise uh, against doing it quickly um, just to avoid breaking these. Now, they can be replaced, but who wants to have to fool with that? So you're going to start wherever you want really, but I would recommend starting in this bottom corner, work your way up, pop the two or three that are here loose, and slowly work your way across. Uh, the plastic is kind of sharp. I thought I cut myself once. I did not. Um, but these anchors go all the way around to the top so I've got all those loose um, if you do use your screwdriver be careful with the sharp edge um, that you don't scratch the plastic or the paint so you can use a cloth for that um, but now we're going to use our little uh, precision screwdriver again and get these continual unfocusable harnesses off with our uh, panel off here Give you a quick second to uh, see what you're working with um, and really only one of the anchors actually came out in the back of the door and um, I guess when it comes time to put these back in what you want to notice is that the only thing inserted in that opening is the very top and if we take a look you've got one two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
and eight. Um, and just for your sake, uh, this one here happens to be the one that is still in the door, and you can see the distance from the edge of the door frame to where it is, it's pretty far apart. Uh, that was very difficult to get to. I was afraid I was running into something a little more difficult. And uh, the one here at the very top underneath the tweeter was pretty hard to get to. And that one, again with being careful, you can see half of that cap decided to snap. But it's the only one, and being near this, which is going to help hold the door panel on, uh, not a big deal. Um, and I don't think there's too much tension on this, so I'm just going to let this hang. But uh, here we are exposed with the speaker, um, tweeter. So if you wanted to replace both with component speakers, which I guess should be recommended, um, you can do that. I think what I'm going to do first, because you can always return things, uh, I'm going to try this with a two-way speaker. Um, We'll get to the back side of this thing and see exactly what the dimensions are of this. I'm certain it's a 5x7 at this point, which I think is what you're watching the video for. But uh, let's get into that. So here we have the speaker removed. Um, you can see pretty standard uh, Mazda connection here. Um, you'll notice the tab at the top. That's how you unlock and release the bracket itself, harness should say. Um, it's on there snug, which is a good thing, but it will take a little effort to pull that free. And if we take a peek here, 25 watt speaker, 4 ohms. Um, take this over where I can get a uh, measuring tape and let's get a good idea of what we're dealing with here. Um, the cool thing, I'm going to have to go get uh, keys put in the ignition first, see what kind of clearance we have, but uh, this is a pretty deep door. So if you're concerned about having a speaker with a larger magnet, you know, higher powered, you run into that. Um, I think you'd be okay here, especially since the Grand Touring models on most of the Mazdas, I'm sure, have a, uh, a deeper hind end to them. First, let's see what we can get here. The mount itself is almost exactly 8 inches across. Going top to bottom. From my perspective, about five and a quarter. Um, and just because some people are that picky, you're looking at a five inch separation between these two top to bottom on your uh, bolt locations. And I would call that four and a quarter across. All right. Now, I guess just to give you uh, my personal opinion, this is exactly what you would expect it to be. This is all paper. I and mean, it's kind of amazing that they still waste their time and money manufacturing these somewhere. And let's call that two and three quarter. Might be a little generous. But that's all the depth that you're working with, including uh, this extended edge on the mounting hardware bracket frame let's call it what we want all right now let's get a look at the hole okay so back to the car door if we take the shallowest part you're looking at about one just over one and a half um what does that come up to nine sixteenths if we were getting down in the nitty-gritty specifics so one and nine sixteenths just figure one and a half to be safe if you're going to put in a, uh, a higher powered speaker, make sure the frame's not sticking out any further than that, at least. Um, tons of space for your magnet. We look side to side. I've already measured this once. We were talking 7 and 5 eighths, I believe. And 5 and a quarter for looking this way. So, um,. You do have a lot of plastic here you can fool with. Um, if you're brave enough, this is a brand new car. It's certified. About the only thing I'm going to do is put exactly the same thing back in. So, uh, you know, do what you feel comfortable with. 
But uh, you do have something here that I bet you could come up with a bracket for. They may make one for. Um, but that would be about it. Uh, I will probably go with a Rockford Punch I found online. Uh, you know, all the usual places, Amazon, eBay. If you can't find them there, you're not going to find them anywhere any cheaper. Um, but uh, anything's better than what came with this. And that makes my wife happy. That makes me happy. So... We're putting this back together. We're going to get all these wide anchors back out, line them back up in our door panel. And uh, now would also be a good time if you wanted to do something uh, like a dynamat. Here's your chance. Not that concerned. The car's pretty quiet going down the road. So uh, there you go. Hope this helped. Um, have fun. Zoom, zoom.